come with me to Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. So a few of my friends came over beforehand so we could all get ready together and of course I made them do a TikTok with me. No. Too tall to be in the front. Yeah. <laughs> Unless one of the shorter people want to do the... I know. <laughs> So after we got a good take for TikTok, we started getting ready. We had decided we were all gonna go as Disney villains and I called dibs on Hades so fast. <laughs> Hades is my favorite villain and I love anything Hercules. So I spent like an hour slapping a bunch of blue all over my face and ta-da, here's the final result. And you better believe I wasn't gonna let anybody leave my house until we finished the second half of our TikTok. So bam, we finished it, then we left and headed towards Magic Kingdom. So first stop when we got to Magic Kingdom was to get our wristbands for the party and get candy bags for trick-or-treating. Then we went over to the castle to get some pictures and Jesus Christ, it was so hot and humid. I was working this poor little fan to death because I did not spend all that time making myself look like a Smurf just to sweat it all off before the party even started. Then I had everybody be in yet another TikTok and we took some pictures. Then because it was just so damn hot, we went and got this like lemonade slush thing. Taste wise, it wasn't anything great, but at least it was cold. Then it was time for the parade and I was really hoping we'd see the Headless Horseman because if it rains, he doesn't come out and the sky was looking real sketch. But luckily the rain held off and he was able to ride down Main Street. Then the parade started for real and we were all just dancing and singing. It was so fun because we spent the entire time trying to get the attention of the characters we were dressed up as. Now for whatever reason, Hades is not in the parade. Which Disney, come on, where is Hades? We want to see him. But his sidekicks, Pain and Panic, are in the parade. So I was like, you're gonna see me. And this was his reaction when he finally spotted me. Last year I went dressed as Megara and they did not notice me at all. So I'm glad I got my justice this year. Now earlier in the night, a cast member had told us about an Yzma photo spot and since one of the girls in our group was dressed as Yzma, you know we had to go over there and do it. And they even had the little vial and everything. So we all took pictures with it and then I really wanted a picture with the Headless Horseman so after we finished those we went over and got that. Then it started raining and we were afraid the fireworks show was going to get cancelled but luckily the rain stopped right beforehand so the show went on. Then after the show we decided we were going to get some snacks. But every time I go to these parties, every time, the snack I want sells out before I can get to it and sure enough the cupcake I wanted was sold out so I had to settle on these churros instead and I'm not gonna lie these were not good I didn't even finish them but I did finish the s'more snack that my friends got and thankfully that was pretty good much better than those churros then we did some trick-or-treating and got to see Maleficent and the Evil Queen once again no Hades which is rude because Disneyland gets Hades why don't we get to have Hades I want Hades in Florida Disney the only Hades I could find anywhere was this poster so you already know what I had to do. So after getting some candy, we decided we wanted to go on rides. And of course, what is a Halloween party without the Haunted Mansion? So that was the first ride we went to. So Melissa's afraid. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I don't know how there's kids going through this. <laughs> like, I'm an adult. Melissa, if kids can do it, so can you. <laughs> they told me someone has to go alone. I said, not me. <laughs> not today. <laughs> it's Bradley. It's my Casper. They're just saying hi. They're just telling you hi. Are you crying? It's like hanging out with a Yes. Please, why are you not taking care of it? Please, everybody say, don't go! We're going in. Don't let me be in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fake. <laughs> You're behind me. But I told you, you like, no, you were like, don't let me be in the back. And then I get in the back and she's like, ah! Melissa's having a panic. I know. <laughs> she's going to start crying again. There's always my way. She can't handle the voice behind us. She survived. It wasn't bad at all. <laughs> they just try to scare me for fun. 
Now by the time we got off Haunted Mansion, we only had about 30 minutes of the party left, so we decided to go ride Tron. This was my second time riding Tron, and you better believe I went on it in full costume, wig and all. By the time we got out, the party was over, and that was the end of our Mickey's Not So Scary party. Pretty much everybody was exhausted at this point, and their costumes had slowly been coming off throughout the night, but not I. I kept mine on until the very end. But anyways, we all had a good time, and this party just made me really excited that Halloween is coming up. Thanks for watching!